face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. Son los asesinos más temibles del mundo natural. I have a dream that one day, even in the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that one day my four little children will live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day, down in Alabama, with this vicious racist, with his governors having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day, right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will join hands with little white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream that one day, every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight. be able to hew out the mountain of despair a stone of hope with this faith we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood with this faith we will be able to work together to pray together to struggle together to go to jail together to stand up for freedom together knowing that we will be free one day and this will be the day this will be the day that all God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country tis for thee, sweet land of liberty. El chicharito, chicharito, chicharito. Ahí, ahí la tiene Torrado. Torrado la juega por abajo, el arquero sabe. When all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and saying in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Tonight on BBC London News, travel disruption for thousands of commuters as so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even in the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, see it together. This is our hope. And this is the faith I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out the mountain of despair. A stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation 
into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. And this will be the day.